and we are going to go to our world partition all right and we are going to go ahead and build us a uh, mini map all right guys so i have this also i already have a whole nother video on building the mini map but i'm gonna just go ahead and, and do it here all right so you build mini map it's going to ask you to save your level go ahead and do it um the whole process takes usually about two minutes if you have a decent sized map i think it changes depending on the size of the map but and how many assets it has to process in um, the mini-map. Mini so I'm sure all that makes a difference. But from my experience, it takes pretty roughly about two minutes for it to perform the task of making a mini-map. Um, when I first saw this, I joked about it in another video that I thought this was to make a mini-map, in-game mini-map for you. Um, it's not that. Um, hopefully, maybe someone will be able to take this... Uh, process and maybe turn it into something that could help us like that though that would be pretty cool all right guys so you're going to get this after you're done it's just a log you can copy this and save it somewhere but everything's working so you just press ok and it's going to build the mini map it's going to close it out then you open it back up and if you scroll in look hey your stuff's on the mini map um if you show the cell coordinates and we zoom in now you can see exactly and this is pretty much in the center all right um and then show actors and this would just have uh basically collisions around all the actual actors and you can click on them and it'll tell you what that actor is if you highlight it i think i got to get closer maybe but yeah there you go and it tells you the cube numbers like up there in yellow if you highlight it you'll see what that actor is in the game so weapon spawner so that's pretty cool so the next thing i did guys was the weapon spawners which these things are probably being put into the game um, using a blueprint of some sort so you will get errors if you just clone them but if you're testing it's not going to hurt anything the game's going to still build and even if you're building building it's still going to build it's going to tell you that it's doing some illegal references, but it's not going to change anything. So what we can do is control and D. And if you're from Unreal Engine 4, that's going to be different for you. You're going to be used to control W. I know it was uh, control D makes more sense for like duplicate. I don't know what W was, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. It doesn't even make sense. But um anyway we do that a couple of times if you want and you could spread these things out more than this man I, I just spread them a little bit i just i'm just doing this really quick to give you guys a little concept of how i did it and i might make control uh, i almost i just did a control w man huh all right control d there we go and so i'll put one set over here all right so that way we've got a few sets of spawner weapon spawners laying around we've got everybody spread out a little bit so there you go guys that's pretty much how you do the open world now if you want to add your own world like i did um that's going to be another process that'll actually and i'll show you that right quick as well um you're going to want to go to landscape all right and you go to landscape mode and hey look at that see the painting and stuff and you want to go to manage okay and this is how i got my landscape in the game um once you're in here you want to go to new and you can just uh, import it from a file which is the normal way that if you get landscapes there'll be height maps okay and see how it says specify a height map you can enable edit layers which i usually do um but then you can go in here you click this and i got some height maps i'll see if i can find one right quick let me see here height maps height maps where do i got some height maps um i think i have some here so i got a ue5 test map i got uh, quite a few maps but these are ones that i tested this is actually a humongous version of the map that you guys see me use this is the 20 by 77 and this is the 40 uh, 33 by 40 33 i'm gonna go ahead and bring this one in just to do it 
So then we go ahead and you click on your uh, height map. And like I said, you have to have a program that can set up a height map for you. Okay. Um, Cause I tried to do it like this. This was a map that I had a 757 by 757 um, that I was using, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use this humongous one. So let's open that. You're going to see it on the grid. And if you see, when I saved my map, there's a number. Let me try to find, let me find that again. 46.18. I put that there because that is the actual uh, depth scale of the map, the Z axis. So let's go ahead. We're going to put that back again. And then here in the Z axis, we want to put this number here to 46.18. <clears throat> and then when you click that, you'll see the map shrink down some. Um, we could select the material. Um, I don't have any landscape material in here right now. A and D. Yeah, I don't see any landscape material. Yikes. So, um, I guess we could go get a material. Why not, right? Video is already long. Why not make it a little bit longer? Let's hang out a little bit longer, man. So I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to go into my library and then I'm just going to find a landscape real quick so we can add it. So let's just go to dream, not dram, dream. There we go. And we're just going to press add to project. And I'm going to see if we do show all. Um, we should be able to find, here we go. Lyra starter game. So we're going to add it to that project. All right. This is 1.9 gigs. Shouldn't take that long to do. And then we'll have some foliage uh, landscape that we can add there. So if you have any that you got from Unreal, any, any kit that has a landscape in it, you can use that material, um, especially if it's a layered material. All right. For dynamic landscape. So we got that done. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to close that out. Now we can go ahead and they have a demo terrain. I already know the name of it because this is what I use. So we can go ahead and select that. All right. Now that you have your coordinates in and I see the 4033 by 4033 Unreal would normally know everything about the height map if you did it correctly. All right. And then you got the partition grid size, which it, you can pick how you want that to be divided or whatever. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to import that. It shouldn't take very long to import the landscape. It's just height map coordinates. And it's going to make a map. And the map's going to be kind of ugly because it's not going to have the materials on it correct yet. There it goes. It's going to pop. Um, I don't know what the heck happened here. It looks like a hot mess. Let's go take a look here and see. So if you back off here, we have a humongous landscape. It's down kind of low. Um, it's not up high enough is what the situation is. And then we have our other landscape on top, but I'm not going to worry about the landscape on top right now. All right. We're just going to go to paint. All right. So that's what you want to do next. And we're going to take care of this weird looking landscape situation we got here with the red on it. All right. We got our layers here, but there's no identification. Um, if you have auto landscape layers, um, literally they'll be set up like this. You'll see them all and you should be able to just click on this and the engine will automatically find the right landscape info. Okay. For this one, it's just going to be the top one and you'll see it's going to take a second and then all of a sudden you'll see the grass pop and all the colors pop into the map and there it is. All right. Now you still want to do the rest of these because this is how you paint. Um, this you have um, says it could be set up as a subtractive blend. I believe that is what we want to do so that that way you can paint over it. All right. So there we go. And this is just to set up each layer so that um, you can paint over it. These layers have already been established by the creator of these, uh, of this, uh, terrain. 
So now if we go in, you're going to see we have our landscape here mixed with the landscape that was already there, which is here. All right. Our landscape also is not in the right places, as you can see. All right. So take care of that. We can actually go in and this is basically what I had to do. Um, we can come back out. And we don't want to be in landscape mode anymore. We can go back to select mode. And we just want to go to the landscape. Let's go ahead, put our outliner back out. All right. And this landscape should have a bunch of instances. All right. So we want to grab, and boy, does this thing have a lot of them. You want to grab the landscape here, and we could edit. Um, we need to get rid of all of these from landscape one, delete them like that. You should see it go away. You know, it's a kind of cool blend actually, but there you go. So now you'll see we're down to one landscape. All right. It's huge. Ginormous. This is like the super king size, uh, king size, different version of the landscape that I have. This is another landscape that I had done. This is not a complete circle like the other one is. This is kind of like just a nice, dope, different, big, humongous landscape. All right. Um, so we're going to go in. And now that we have our landscape in here, um, and we deleted everything off of this landscape, it'll let you delete landscape one. So we could go ahead and delete landscape one completely out of there. You just have to delete all of the, in the streaming uh, instances first. All right, with that, we wanted to go ahead and do another save all. All right, I'm telling you, we there now. That's it pretty much, guys. So the next step we're gonna do is we are going to take our landscape no, not our landscape. We're good there. We're going to go to our actors. So all of this stuff we did from the gym area, you want to take, highlight that folder, say select immediate children. And we're just going to drag everybody out so we can see since there's mountains and everything here, we want to make sure we get everybody to some land surface. All of the player starts, all of that stuff. We want it to all be out here where it makes sense. All right, I'm gonna just press end and see if it drops it all and it looks like it did. So now if we look, it looks like we have all of our player starts, everything. I just wanna make sure I see them all. It looks like I do. All right, everything's on a flat surface land. We have our nav mesh, which I'm gonna grow some more now since you see how large this landscape is. This is why I make mine pretty humongous uh, by normal standards, I have usually have pretty large landscapes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just make this 200,000. And let's just go up and see. And if you look, guys, we really don't need it that big because these guys are not going to get around that much map. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. So... Let's click back on it here and I want to rotate it because most of the action is going to happen kind of like this for now. This could be a humongous map though, just being real. And then we're going to uh, set the depth of this to be much bigger. Now we'll do like 20,000. Yeah, we'll do like 20,000. All right. So now if we press P, Shouldn't see anything still. Just want to make sure that the bottom of the landscape, <clears throat> that the landscape is completely covered by the nav mesh bounds volume. So it looks like we got everything, guys. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go back into game view. Let's do a save all, my favorite buttons. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this right quick and see if these guys run along this new uh, landscape. With everything that we set up, it should work. 
go ahead and you see our texture streaming budget immediately went over because I, I didn't even set the streaming budget in here so of course it's gonna go over um this is a fresh project so I didn't change the texture streaming yet well you can see the gym kind of doing a weird a weird out thing right there but there's our other players and they are moving so this is good but there you guys go we have a full landscape in here now and you can add other things like fog and trees and plants or whatever else you want to add to your landscape to make it look fresh um I'm gonna also guys while I'm here I might as well show you this last step that's it guys though that's how you get them in um, I do want to go ahead and I do have the videos for adding more characters all those other videos even some of the things I showed you here were in another video I just try to keep the video short but keep it a little bit basic for those that need the basics um, we could add more AI now and all that good stuff that you saw in the other videos but that's pretty much how you add the map for the streaming pool, um, I'll have a video for that. If you don't know that, you can just look it up. It's pretty easy to figure out. Um, it's just a setting in your INI file, and it's pretty common knowledge. So that's it, guys. Man, I do want to say thank you, guys. Man, Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games, man. Um, keep telling people about the project. Keep telling people about what's going on. I am going to have... Uh, update video on my game the lesser god please stop by and check that out um i drop a lot of knowledge in 4.27 um it's stable so i still do most of my work in 4.27 and move it over to five so i'll be doing videos in both um it'll be wise to watch both sets especially if you're new to five um four is probably where you'd rather start as a matter of fact than start in five but you can start in five it's just you're gonna get a lot more knowledge by starting in four just my opinion anyway but i think you get a lot more knowledge wow i love this map man i might like this better than the one i already had man this is an awesome map where are they going are, are there guys down there there are there's guys down there man they were oh shoot oh, they're way down here man that's why they weren't coming to find us they're way down here yeah, this is going to be amazing, man. Um, we just have to set things up a little different. But this is a pretty cool map, too, man. So that's it, guys, man. I'm going to get off of here, man. I'll be on here all day. Um, Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your friends, man. All right. I'm out.